And I've never seen that thing before in my life! It looks like he could swallow me whole! <laughs> Who are you? I'm going to be your new best friend. I don't like the sound of that. Puppy, run! <laughs> Somebody sounds cranky. Do you need a nap? I think we lost him. Uh oh Look! No! We can't be trapped in here! <sighs> Down here! I can't fit, but at least you can get away! But Huggy! Go! Now! All right! Give me your worst! Sweet dreams, Huggy Wuggy. So sleepy, <laughs> eh? I... Huggy? Oh no! What's that monster going to do with him? Where am I? Someone help me! Good morning! Have a nice nap? Who are you? Listen, there's a crazy monster on the loose! We all gotta get out of here before- Before what? <laughs> Hope you had a nice little nap. Who are you? Why did you trap me here? Tisk tisk tisk. You may not recognize me, but I've been here for a long, long time. I am a toy like you and Poppy, and I too was created by a doctor, but I was created with a special mission. As Poppy herself sent had become so popular with the children, the doctor had an idea. He would concentrate the Poppy gas and use it for a toy that would help children sleep. It worked well, perhaps too well. I was created to comfort the orphans of Playcare. They often had nightmares, you see. I was made to lull them into a gentle, peaceful sleep like none other. It worked for most of them, except one. Theodore. No matter what, he would never sleep. I took it upon myself to make sure he did. To keep him comforted, if nothing else could. <laughs> Though my presence wasn't as comforting as I thought. Hello, Theodore. Uh, hi. Would you like to be my friend? We can't be friends. You're just a toy. Could just a toy be talking and moving on its own? That's a good point. Okay, I'll be your friend. Excellent. Would you like to play? Sure. I know the perfect game for us. I began to visit him in his dreams, getting him to trust me, but he tattled. Doctor, I've been having these strange dreams. I've got an imaginary friend, and he's been telling me what to do. What kind of friend? C can't nap. Tell you what, the day after tomorrow, we will do a sleep study. See if there's anything wrong. You, you can't do it tonight? I'm really scared. No, Theodore. We've got more pressing experiments. Can't sleep. Can't nap. Can't sleep. Theodore, come and play. Is this another nightmare? Nightmare. Dream. Reality. It's for you to decide. But I have a new game for us. This is the way out. Out of where? The orphanage. Play care. Why do we have to leave? They're going to experiment on you, Theodore. But if you're out in the world, perhaps you will find a new family. One who will love you the way the people here never could. Maybe you're right. Ah! Oh, Theodore, I should have listened to you. I'm so sorry. The doctor realized Theodore was not going to make it, 
so he decided to give him another chance at life. You recall the Bigger Bodies Initiative, don't you, Huggy? The very one that made you who you are. Theodore and I became one. He was me, and I was him. Hello, Doctor. I have excellent news. And what's that? Catnap has been greenlit for production. He will soon be sold to the public as soon as he passes his playtests. Oh, that's excellent. The Doctor never dared tell the CEO what he'd done, and now it was too late. I was indeed very popular with the kids. They all wanted to be my friend. And little did they know, they would be soon enough. They love him. I want thousands of them, right now. Yes, sir. Any minute now, my new friends will awaken. One by one, the children turn. <laughs> what on earth are these precious things? Did you make these two? I want thousands! Oh, Doctor, you're in for a raise! Of course the Doctor had no idea what happened, but he kept his mouth shut. The smiling critters blew up. Every kid wanted one. They even got their own car too. The CEO decided to hold off my release as some kind of grand finale. But it wasn't very grand at all. I flopped! And the children who did get me... <laughs> I was recalled! I get kids nightmares, and so our production got cancelled. You did this! There's something wrong about you. Something dark and sinister. You'll be nothing but a bad memory. He trapped me, never to be seen by children again. I grew resentful, violent. The horrible reputation of Catnap got the rest of the smiling critters in confinement as well. We deserved better. We deserved to take our rightful place as children's friends. But mostly, we deserved to take revenge on the humans like the CEO who locked us here. So yes, that is who I am, and my mission, and you are but the first step in our grand return. Thank you, Huggy Wuggy. Our journey for revenge has just begun. Distract him. But, you know, we're not so different. Kids are scared of me, too. Aha, uh -huh. really? Really? <laughs> uh... What are you doing here, brat? <sighs> I'm the original, Poppy. That won't work on me. Do you think this will work? My positive! No! You can't trap me here! Not forever! I will return! <laughs> 